It's great to see Brill bring out his best dance moves and be able to be himself around her. Not much judgment here. And next we got an interesting social experiment in terms of a chocolate bar. Yeah, often Rashford is known as one of the more inconsistent players. He immediately becomes 2008 Ronaldo when he gets a girlfriend. In this next one, she literally laid down the law. My soon-to-be husband, like, he treats me well, he respects me, I don't have to ask for anything, but at the same time, I also do what I'm supposed to do with a woman. I cook, I clean, I suck, I, fuck, I shut the f*** up, so I know how to keep my man. How much does a guy have to make? How much does a guy If she is really like this when the camera is turned off, then she's gotta be a keeper. Because nowadays, a mindset like that has to be a rare. Mom, how much the ring costs, Mom? About 150, 200 bucks. And it lasts you 30 years of marriage? Yep, and I love it. How do you get there? You know, you know what you're talking about, they want $12,000 rings. What'd you think? The true love is you love the person, not the actual material of it. Ooh, talk it's to him. Talk to him then, Mom. <laughs> talk to him, Mom. <laughs> You can use the money for bettering your future instead of on the ring. So she definitely understands. Next, we have a couple just not taking matters so seriously. Four months, we thought the ice maker would have stopped, but we think it kept going. So let's see what happens.
The amount of people who are so flabbergasted that I consider my husband my leader and that I ask him for permission before I do certain things is honestly quite shocking. For one, I didn't understand why so many people were so pressed about a relationship that has nothing to do with them. I mean, why wouldn't you marry someone whose judgment and leadership and guidance you can trust? Why is it a comical thing to respect your husband so much that to even ask permission before doing certain things just to make sure he's okay with it is something that's deemed as comical. I mean, listen, y'all could be Miss Independent if you want to, but one thing about me, I learned from my foremother Eve. I'm not trying to be like her and disregard anything my husband says just to do my own thing. No, I'm going to make sure my husband is okay with everything that I do. And this is my marriage, not yours. So you don't got to be big mad in the comments because I'm chilling. I'm happy. I love my man. I'm living stress free over here, baby. You know that she was going to get some pushback for speaking up like that. She's got to be aware that if you give respect, then you will likely get respect in return. This next surprise was one filled with awesome creativity. <gasps> Shut the hell up, honey. Oh, you did it! <laughs> oh my, in the hammock! In the ship! You did all this? Oh! <laughs> the book's up there because you asked for my favorite stuff. Oh, I wanted something up there. Oh, <laughs> I love you. You're a little sweaty from doing it. He wants somebody to come home to. He wants somebody to cuddle at night. He wants somebody to send all the funny TikToks to. He wants somebody that will just love him and that is willing to show their love without all of the conditions. I give you a 10 out of 10 with the makeup. Thank you. Like, you're supposed to be on the runway right now. <laughs> you're so funny. Thank you. Good. What's your name, though? Gabby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Future Husband, if you want me to be. Your real name. That don't really matter, because I know, like, you don't know me, never met me, don't care what I'm saying, I don't even believe me, but if you gave me the chance to gain some of your loyalty, like... Oh, my God. I can't with you. <laughs> What's your number? Hold on, let me give you my number. I don't know it by heart. Two phones. Three phones. It is understandable if you were genuinely surprised at how that actually worked. Bro definitely took a risk and thankfully it didn't go the wrong way. This next one stresses the importance of attire. I respect my man. I don't do that. Because if I go out dressed a certain way, I know I'm looking for some kind of attention that I'm not looking for. I'm committed to him and only him. I don't do that. Would you ever start an only? And I was like, how could you me? Uh, like, how could you even ask me that? And he literally goes, like, you post things that are basically like that. Who do you have such judgment about it for? And I was sitting there like, hmm. And I really took a step back. I analyzed, like, the things that I had been posting, the presence that I had on social media. And at the time, I was posting, like, seven stories a day of myself. I was so deep in it. And I had taken three days off of social media, not posting one story, not posting one photo of myself, absolutely zero attention. And this is coming from someone who I'm, like, I pride myself on the fact that, like, I don't need attention. I don't need attention from it. I felt lonely. Yeah. Not getting that attention. I can't even believe it. I was not even aware, and I know this might sound so silly to some people, but when you're so deep in it, you have no idea the effect that it's having. That was a moment where I was like, I have to change something. She knows how impactful image can be. So if you give out good, then you will attract that back and so forth. Next, we got another awesome mindset to follow. If you are engaged and the wedding never happens, who keeps the ring? The man. Because the ring is a symbol of your commitment to me. The ring is a symbol of your affection to me and your intent to be with me. Yeah. So if the intention is not there, why is the ring associated with the attention, intention, sorry, being kept with me? It's almost like, wh like why, why am I keeping a ring that represents nothing? My husband has wanted these since they came out and I finally found his size. Okay. Thank you, bud. Get the heck out of here! <laughs> you have to FaceTime Heather. Kachow! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! So everything from the way that I deal with him, the way mm. that I speak to him, the way that I honor Talk about him that. as yeah. my husband. And I don't care. I remember um, just a couple of days ago, um, Alyssa was just watching me and she's like, you always plate daddy's food. And I said, yeah, because, you know, I love him and he deserves this and more. Yeah. So 
I treat my husband like a king. Yeah. He acts like one. Yeah. Say, listen. Every time. Listen. Every time. So anytime he's not acting like a king, I got to check Talk. myself. She is simply just not ashamed to be a good wife, no matter the pressure from friends and family to act otherwise. Can you buy me a drink? Someone stole my wallet. <laughs> Happy wife, happy life. Mm. That's some bull. <laughs> okay? Happy wife, happy husband, happy life. Well, thank you, baby. If I'm happy and he's not happy, we will not have a happy life together. The one I dream about. <laughs> Although I know, I know that's not for a few more years. But that's okay. I can wait. I enjoy kayak fishing. I bought you a boat. I know you did. I promise. No. Look at me. Look no, at me. Not. Look at me. I got you that flats boat that you wanted. No, you didn't. I swear you just got off the phone with him. Promise. I don't believe you. Yes. You're telling me the truth. I'm going to leave this kayak by the, by the road. Leave this kayak by the road. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, folks. Golden Oh, my. Where are we going to put it? Okay, your, your parents. Are they already the said it. Yes, they said it was fine. Bro, we're never kayaking again, bro. Are you so serious? I promise. When do I? You see, there are normal gifts, but the ones that really stand out are those personalized to you. So you could definitely bet that this guy will be sticking around for quite some time. I do not correct my husband. I believe that it is my responsibility to have the confidence to give him my perspective. Then we can talk about it and he can self-correct. I love him so much and I desire to honor and respect him. I'm not going to be disrespectful and talk to him like a child. <laughs> was like not so fast that's definitely how you treat a guy like a king it's so much easier when you could just sit back relax and enjoy the music without the pressure of getting some bring to the table when you're in a relationship loyalty sarcasm i'm really hoping one day i can meet a girl who can bring sarcasm to my relationship oh, I, i'm very sarcastic I, if you can't get my sarcasm we're not gonna work without even asking i'll do something to make sure that your day is easier or that your life is easier gotcha. if he's having a bad day i make sure like the food is cooked This is actually the best answer we've had today. Happy early birthday. What the is that? Happy <laughs> early birthday. What do you mean happy birthday? Happy early birthday. It's paid for it. It's all cash. It's done. Birthday. No way. <laughs> yeah, no <fucking> way. <laughs> happy birthday. Um. <laughs> happy birthday. I can't even... <laughs> I see it. Oh, no, right there, yeah. <laughs> He's got the keys. <laughs> what the f I can't even. Darren uh, delivered it to me today. I bought. We bought it on Tuesday. Holy <laughs> I've been in cahoots with your dad for several weeks now. <laughs> I had to like hide the text messages because he and I there so he could test drive it. Bro, and this doesn't look like any other Mustang. This is like a special edition. That's amazing. Looks like this car isn't the easiest to get, even if you have the money to get it. So definitely that effort is super appreciated. I tried paying for our lunch, and then this is what he did. I'm mean. <clears throat> Why are you paying? Yes. What you doing? Um, you forgot to do something. I know. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Are you mad? Maybe. No, you're not. I love you. I'm really sorry. I won't let it happen again. <laughs> Thanks. I love your case. What? I love your case. This? Yes. Do you want? Do you know my case? <laughs> 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 my 
my BFP's five for keeping up with my pregnancy I'm hormones. I'm an addict. Money will be. Yes, I'm an addict. Close your eyes. I got you something, Beth. Even really good men that you would be lucky to have should not be expected to do these three things. Number one, fulfilling all of your needs. That means that you shouldn't have to do every single thing together. You should have time apart. Number two, expecting him to know what you're thinking and feeling without you explicitly telling him. I've explained that one so much that I'm just not getting into it. Number three, and I think this is the hardest one to accept, him always putting you first. The truth is, is that being put first is a very subjective objective thing. And it's really never that clear cut. I think that the more reasonable thing is to make sure that he's always considering you and definitely considering the relationship. But that may not always look like him putting you first. She's making a great point. Things like giving out gifts, providing for your family, those are things that don't require you to always be there. And as they say, sometimes absence makes the heart grow fonder, as cliche as it is. So just let the guy do his own thing and be awesome. How hard is that? I mean, that's crazy. Crazy. It's actually not that impressive. What? It's not that impressive. Yeah, it is. No. To me, it is. You know what they say? What? They say comparison is the thief of joy. You compare yourself to others and you'll never be happy. So that's impressive weight. Who cares what other people lift? Comparison is the thief of joy. Wow. What a great message. This might be one of my new favorite videos on TikTok. You know, you always hear people say, it's you versus you. Your only competition is yourself. And that's the truth. The only person that you should try to be better than is who you were yesterday. And realize, too, that progress isn't always going to be straight up. You're not always going to get better. You're going to stumble. You're going to fall. But you're going to continue to work hard. And the opposite is true, too. Just because you are bigger or stronger or lift more than somebody does not make you better than anyone. Amazing. You see, no matter what, if you really want to do something, you will make it happen. So if someone's simply giving you a bunch of excuses as to why they can't do something for you, then you know that simply they just don't want to. One, honesty or flattery? Honesty. Your forehead is bigger than my dream. That was good. That was good. That was good. I do have a big forehead. Don't worry. My dreams are small. Oh, oh. it's even better. Wow. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Of course it's not enough for you to work four straight shifts at the hospital saving lives for 48 hours like a damn hero. No, you gotta come home, cook for me, make sure I'm fed, then go to the gym for two hours and prioritize your own health. What are you doing? It was only 45 minutes. I can't propose twice. The wedding is only three months away, yet not a day goes by where you don't let me remember, oh my God, I should have married this girl yesterday. You know what? Go get the shower. And when you get out, I'm going to rub your back and rub your feet. Really? Go right now. Because okay. if I say it again, you're going to get kissed. Okay. <laughs> Wow, some may be able to put in so much effort that you may want to propose to them two times. That's a new one. And all these things that this guy listed aren't really that much if you think about it. Just as Love you. Bye. Well, you guys are acting like you've never been apart or something. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> You're too cute. Bye. Bye. Be careful. Be safe, okay? Okay, I am hungry now. You see, guys just want to feel like they are cared for. And is that so much to ask for? I bought Dallin a car. He has no clue and we're flying home tomorrow and this bad boy is going to be sitting at the airport waiting for him.
Are you Sydney? Are you Sydney? Oh! The car. In the car. Oh. Y'all saw her right here. You did this? Yeah. Mans went from surprised in fear to surprised in joy. Amazing. Now let's just hope that they could save a bunch of money on their car insurance. Mommy. What did I say you're too? Hi. Hi, Mommy. Look at this. Hi. Hello. Hi. Mom, Good. this yeah. is my boyfriend. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 She was saying the buddy smiling. Oh, boyfriend, I'm so happy to see you guys. Oh, welcome, darling. Mm. Oh, come in. <laughs> Asking my wife all the stupid questions she asks me. Jess, mm -hmm. do you actually love me? Do you really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Babe, do you think I'm pretty? I think you're beautiful. Aww. <laughs> Babe, why does my tummy hurt? What? Why does my tummy hurt? You're coughing. No, I'm not. Why is my what tummy? My that? tummy hurt. <laughs> you had to cheat on your boyfriend with one guy in the entire world. Okay. Who would it have to be? Ian Summerholder, Harry Styles, MGK. I would never cheat on my boyfriend. He's the love of my life. Aww. And there we have it. Choosing long-term fulfillment over a little short-term fun. What you decide to do today can either help you or hurt you in the future. One celebrity cheat pass. That's that one celebrity that even if you're dating the love of your life, you still want to have a pass to be able to cheat on him with. Oh my god, this sounds so, like, cringy, but, like, I genuinely don't have one. No. I'm no not mind. really into celebrities, and the love of my life, he's, like, phenomenal, oh, so I can't okay. imagine. But what if he gave you a pass? If he was like, you're cool with with one celebrity, who's it gonna be? I still wouldn't, cause like, imagine if I said that, like, I was like, you have one you can cheat on me with. Yeah. If he actually cheated on me with someone, I'd be yeah. like, you. He needs somebody too. He's not gonna ask for it though. If you're struggling, so is he. So next time you think your man doesn't need your help, or a family member, or a friend, just remember, they have feelings, they cry, they bleed, they need someone, they need someone there for them. So be that person and do better. Nice, but still, it's great to be able to support yourself on your own just in case. Excuse me? What's that? Oh, your phone number. <laughs> oh, you're absolutely stunning, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks. I've never had that before. Yeah, if that's all right with of you. Of course. Where are you from? Um, from Maryland. Oh, okay. I just came here from California yesterday. Well, welcome. Yeah. Glad to have you. Here you go. I'll call you. Bye. Love What's you. Your name? Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Gosh. Could just be a very nice person, but congrats to him for going after what he wanted. I want you to know that I really love you. I, I, I don't think I always will, but one of my favorite chapters. And, uh, one day I won't be sad on this chapter, it'll just be another chapter. After that, he might want to consider getting back together. You are going to love this next one.
Thank you. And she knew what the car was. What? That's never happened. definitely passed the test and got rewarded for it. It is great to see people help others, especially those in need. This next story is amazing. Behind me is super cute. I'm seriously going to ask to get a number. Hey, I thought you were really cute. Can I get your number? Shut up, bye. No? Can I? What is it? I'm just kidding. Do you want to get married? We're getting married? We're having babies? Oh my gosh. Dude, this turned out different than I thought. <laughs> I can't kiss you. My helmet's on. So, sorry. Oh, I thought it was turning green. She said do a wheelie for her. Oh, I got you. excitement. Can't understand why so many don't prioritize marriage. Next one reads, when you don't want to work out but remember your BF is a 10 out of 10. nothing in return. How tall are you? 5'8". How tall you want your man to be? I don't care. I, my friends all make fun of me because I actually go for short guys a lot. Well, like, not short, but like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and they're always like, what are you doing? You so I really don't care. Yeah, yeah, everything. Tell me when you get a real one. Yeah? A real, real one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> a real one. No, you spoiling him. That's what it is. <laughs> you spoiling I'm him. I'm not. This is the way. <laughs> the monster's gone. He's on the run. sincerity. It is truly great when someone is not afraid to admit when they're wrong and is willing to make it right. That is maturity. Next couple ones might just be goals. Don't worry about it, honey. I got it. Well, thank you.
without having nice flashy things. Many wholesome clips today and don't forget to check out the links in the video description and the video above me.